I initially did was I buy the house, let's say 40, record the value of the house at 90. And then what I would do is, and I do five of these houses. So I got one guy's got five houses, another guy's got five houses, another guy has six houses, another guy has five houses, four houses, whatever. So this guy just bought a house. Let's say Brandon Green just bought a house for. Murder in the first degree. You play with me, I put your face on the white tee. Hey, wearing a pearl jewel, I got two 23s. $400,000 home bought with a CP. I'm a trapper, but I've been on a few scammer thugs. My bitch walking out of Nordstrom's with a lot of funds. Quarter million in gift cards off designer bags. They didn't know they was knockoffs when we took them back. My first Rolex was a Stolex. My whole caught a trick slipping and she stole it. Still jugging phones, still jugging loans. Still selling weed, coming by a zone. My hard money lender is a big spender. Do it right and you can take off all winter. I'm not a fan of the dark web, that shit dead. Order a pack and sign for it, end up going fed. Still in the trap because I love the rush. Hand on my heat and I'm prepared to bust. Lil' mama pussy good, but I don't fall in lust. Had to cut everybody off, I ain't know who to trust. Scam you L. Jackson, that's my nickname. Known to keep a few tools like I fix things. So more nicks than a Madison Square Garden game. The law side, I'm moving shit on a public train. You ever made so much you thought the feds was watching? Oh, well, you ain't made enough money then. In year 2018, I bought three bins and opened up three trust funds for my three kids. We was making Cali runs back in 08. In other words, what I mean is you niggas late. Better pray I don't run out of food, I take your plate. Now you you can either give it up or get shot in the face. Two one four shit, nigga. Big Zach. Trap house. I record the sales price of the house at two hundred something thousand. So now I apply for a loan. I have an appraiser come out. He appraises the house at two hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Let's say because there's a pit, there's comparable sales all over the neighborhood. So he thinks it's worth two thirty. Even though I bought it for 50. Does that make sense? So the bank lends me $190,000 on a house that's really worth 50. So I walk away with $140,000, make a few payments, let the house go into foreclosure.